Yo, what's going on everybody? This is GamerGuy2216 coming at you with another video from my YouTube channel. And what I want to talk about today is just a few games I found while I went to GameStop today. Uh, right now GameStop is having a sale. Uh, buy four games for 10 bucks if they're like $6.99 a piece or whatever. And I just found some games for my 360 to add to my collection that I've played before, but I don't mind playing again. Uh, when I first started buying consoles and games and stuff, I was the type of guy where if I was done with the game, I would sell it back to the store to get money. But now, if I like a game, I want to keep a game because, Lord knows, you have those cravings where you want to play a game again. You're like, oh, I used to have it, but not anymore. But this time, I, I found four games that I've already played, but I want to play again. And I got these all for $10, like total, not per game, but total. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Sorry, I can't even see it for nothing. Alright, so the first game I got is the classic Mass Effect number one. I played all three Mass Effects. I've owned all three Mass Effects, and I sold all three Mass Effects, which I wish I would have kept. But the first Mass Effect, where everything started, I found it in the bundle here, and I got it. It just came with a disc, though, but it is in good condition. It's okay. I'll take what I can get. I just keep it in my sleeve here until I'm ready to play it, and we're good to go. Second game I found was Max Payne 3. Max Payne, I've been a big fan since it came out on the original Xbox back in the day. I've played Max Payne 1 and 2, and I've also played 3 when I had a PlayStation 3. So when I saw it for the Xbox that they were selling Max Payne 3, I was like, I gotta have it. For for all of it for 10 bucks. come on, you can't beat it. If you haven't played Max Payne 3, I highly recommend you check it out. Um, it is hard. It is. It does get hard at the end of the game, especially with the last boss fight. But if you like Max Payne like I do, I really believe it's worth checking out. So check out this game. GameStop. Alright, third game. These Well, these two games are kind of connected because they're part of the same, they're, they're part of the same uh, series. But the first one is Bioshock 2. Um, I have the original Bioshock. I played Bioshock 2. And of course, like I said, I sold Bioshock 2, which I wish I would have kept. Because I'm more of like getting into the collecting thing now. Even if I don't play it, I want to have it. So I found Bioshock 2. Bioshock 2, if you haven't checked that out, or if you haven't checked out the Bioshock series, I highly recommend you check that out. Very fun, very interesting, it makes you think type of thing with the story. I also found Bioshock Infinite. I just started playing this game, and I just beat this game today. And I thought the story was phenomenal. It was one of those make-you-think type of games again. And uh, if you haven't checked this out, Bioshock Infinite, I highly recommend if you have an older system, you know, because I'm, I'm a big fan of collecting for any system that I have because I don't like just to stay modern. I like to have a broad variety of stuff. Check it out. If you're looking for something to add to your Xbox or PS3 collection, check out Bioshock Infinite. All right, those are my GameStop finds for the month of October. Stay posted with me. I'm always shopping for better deals and better savings. Alright guys, GamerGuy2216, that's my video for the day. Um, if you guys want to game online with me, of course, you're more than welcome to. I have two accounts, Microsoft and and uh, PlayStation. My Microsoft account is Jesote Grande with the space in between the two words. And then my Sony is Jesote underscore Grandote. So they're pretty much the same, but not really. Alright you guys, game on. See you later.